Hey guys, it's Liv. Here is my take on three dairy-free ice creams. The recipe for the base was created by Gemma at Bigger Boulder Baking and I will put her link to her video in the description box so please go check that out. But here are my three flavors that I created and I hope you guys will try them out too. So let's get into the recipes. So the night before you make your ice cream, you're going to need three cans of full fat coconut milk and you're going to pour one of the cans into a pot with two thirds a cup of sugar and then you're going to put it on a really low to medium heat and let it simmer gently for 30 minutes to an hour until it has reduced by about half and turned into a thicker consistency and then you're going to put it in the fridge overnight and put the other two cans of coconut milk in the fridge overnight as well. The day that you're making your ice cream, you're going to take the two cans of coconut milk out of the fridge and scoop off the thick coconut cream that rose to the top. So try not to get the water that's underneath because that'll actually make your ice cream more icy and we want it to be more creamy. But don't throw away the water, you can use it in smoothies and it is really, really good. Then you're going to turn on your beaters and beat the coconut cream until it's really thick and creamy. Then take out the coconut milk and sugar mix that you put in the fridge the night before and add that to the coconut cream in the bowl. And then you're going to whip those two together until it's really soft and really fluffy and looks a lot like whipped cream. If you have some vanilla extract, I suggest adding that because it helps keep the ice cream from getting crystallized. Um, I think it's the alcohol in the extract that keeps it from getting crystallized. And then it should look like this when it's done. So a really thick, fluffy cream. So the first flavor I'm going to show you how to make is Chocolate Lover. So the way we're going to make this is by using a third of the ice cream base with a couple tablespoons of your superfoods chocolate lover mix. So at the beginning I put a tablespoon and a half and then I stirred it around and realized that it wasn't quite enough so I added another tablespoon. Um, if you don't have this mix or you don't feel like trying it, you can use cocoa instead of this but I highly recommend this mix because it's got like cacao, lacuma, chia seeds, coconut, and it's just so good and it made this ice cream taste amazing. Then once it's all mixed, you're going to carefully, lightly spoon it into a container so that it's really light and fluffy and not compacted at all. And then you're just going to pop it in the fridge for a few hours until it is an ice cream consistency. It should look something like this. I just added some chocolate chips on top for extra chocolatey goodness. So the next flavor we're going to make is strawberry shortcake and this is actually I think my favorite out of the three. It turned out so well. Thank you to my mother for suggesting this flavor. Uh, so you're going to take another third of the base and a biscuit. I will put the link in the description of the recipe that I used to make these. And then you're just going to break it up into small little chunks. And then you're gonna put some crushed fresh strawberries into the mix and be careful not to get too much of the juice because just like the water, it will make this um, more icy rather than creamy. So just be careful of that. And then just add in the pieces of biscuit and give it a good stir. Then again, same as the chocolate, you're just going to lightly plop it into a container, um, making sure that it's not too compacted. Then again, just put that in the freezer for a few hours, and when you take it out, it should look like this. So 
I topped mine with just another chunk of biscuit and half a fresh strawberry um, just for presentation purposes and I think it turned out so cute. The last flavor we're making is cookies and cream. So for this I just used some crushed Oreos. Now I know that not all Oreos are uh, vegan in every country so make sure you check the label but in my country they are vegan so I use those but you can also use any other kind of cookie that you like. So I just crushed, I think I used about four or five cookies because I wanted mine to be really concentrated with the cookie flavor. And this is how it turned out it came out so well so yeah those are the three ice cream flavors I can definitely do more flavors if you um, request it I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you try this out and I will see you next time mm -hmm.